Wednesday, and there is a push to get more women wearing a law enforcement badge. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith tells us what the New York State Police are doing to add women to the force. New York State Trooper Kylie Black has been on the job for over a decade. Her sidekick is this girl, Lonnie. Free. <laughs> it's like a girl. Yeah. Trooper Black is one of just two female canine handlers in the entire state. She may not know it, but she serves as an inspiration for all women interested in a career in law enforcement. A fearless woman herself, she's proving policing is no longer just a man's job. It's a great job, and there's so many different avenues within the state police. You can be an investigator, you can be a sergeant, you can be a canine handler, you could be the first female that would try out for our sort team. There's a whole bunch of careers within this career, and there's a lot of opportunities for both men and women, but for women to make a difference in the state as well. In 2022, Governor Kathy Hochul announced the state's 30 by 30 pledge, the goal to get more women into law enforcement. New York State Police hope to have females making up 30% of its recruit classes by the year 2030. As you can imagine, a lot of agencies are dealing with a lot of uh, retirements and the fact that we're seeing such a low amount of people interested in law enforcement. So you mentioned that the agency has been working on this for years, how so? We were created in 1917. We didn't have females enter the academy until 1974. We have reached a number of, of uh, avenues to get people to come on this job, and, and I think it's progressed, but we're not, we're not done yet. And they won't stop until more women are on the force. Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. State police ease some of the requirements for interested applicants, including the flexibility to choose when and where you take your exam. If you'd like to sign up to become a trooper, head to localsbr.com. And we'll be right back.